Hello, uh, my name is Alisher Turaev. I am a doctor of biological science, professor, specialist in plant genetics and breeding. And we today can enjoy with you uh, the place where uh, three different varieties of Pavlonia all are grown in optimal, nice agrotechnical condition. And we will today learn with you what kind of varieties here are grown and what is your choice if you decide to grow this beautiful, economically profitable and ecologically clean future tree, Pavlovia. We are now close to a very famous tree. This tree is in fact a deep uh, uh, Chinese uh, flora, very famous in the world. And this is Pavlovia variety, uh, wild uh, variety, Pamentosa. It's called Pamentosa. This is the wild variety of the, uh, Pavlovia, grown, originated from China. And this plant was distributed all over the world. This is the first Pavlonia plant which was cultivated in many, many countries. And it is, Pavlonia is in fact uh, considered as the fastest growing tree in the world because it can grow five meters uh, in per year. And during seven years, it can reach 25 uh, meters and about one square meter uh, of wood we can obtain. You see, it's a really amazing uh, uh, tree which is, uh, looks very, you know, healthy. And uh, you can see here uh, lots of seeds. So Tomintosa is very fertile uh, Pavlonia with lots of seeds. And the seeds usually can be distributed uh, around Pavlovnia. And unfortunately, because this uh, future uh, Tomintosa and other Pavlovnia plants are forbidden to do uh, to be decorative trees in many European countries because this invasive character of this uh, wild uh, uh, species. Let's let's measure Pavlovnia how a diameter of the tree so we can take a, a line measurement and we can see here it's a 36 centimeter in diameter and about 15 meter uh, tall and we can see here it's about uh, 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.6 uh, cubic meter uh, uh, timber and wood we can obtain from this plant. It is about eight years old Pavlonia tree. And now it's a second variety of Pavlonia. We are in fact in the one place. We are looking now three Pavlonia varieties. Okay, this is the second one, which is also wild variety. It's called Elongata. Elongata is very elegant uh, Pavlonia species. It's also wild species. Elongata has very nice smooth uh, stem and uh, it's of course taller than uh, Tomentosa. You can see here it reaches about uh, 20 meters tall. But if you see the diameter of Elongata, it's about uh, 23 to 24 uh, centimeter diameter. And if we now calculate the, uh, the, the volume of timber here, we can say that it's about 1.3 uh, cubic meter uh, timber we can obtain from Elongata. This is what you can see. And Elongata also has a future. It is completely sterile plant. So it is not invasive. So it's not making uh, the unnecessary trees around the plant if it's grown in the cities or if you do plantation from Elongata. But it is rather um, sensitive to cold. It can resist only minus 20 uh, centigrade uh, compared to Tomentosa, which is resistant to up to 27 centigrade minus temperature. Now the, the most surprise tree, what we wanted to present you, this is the, in fact, uh, Pavlovnia dream. I would say this is the really dream Pavlovnia because you cannot imagine the, such a growth of the plant for a given time. This is, I can introduce, this is the Pavlonia hybrid, which is called uh, Santon, which is made by a human. And this is the result of the cross of Tomentosa. We have seen it, wild variety, and a Fortune, which is another wild variety. Two wild varieties are crossed, and the human created this beautiful, uh, fantastic, in fact, a unique uh, hybrid, which is called Santon. What is uniqueness? So you can't believe that, but this tree is eight years old. Huh? It's uh, 
uh, here planted as a one year old sapling, uh, cut, a technical we call a technical cut, and very nicely given agrotechnics. So if we measure now, you will be really highly surprised. So we take uh, our measure and we measure this uh, plant now. So it's, uh, it's about 62 to 64. I cannot tell you exact, so it's from 62 to 64 centimeter diameter of this tree. So it's, uh, it's double of my size here. And if we take uh, my size as a measure and go up, then we can see here is about eight meter, very nice smooth stem. Yeah, from down to up, it's the same uh, diameter. If we see it and we magnify it to about uh, eight meter, then we calculate it's about two uh, cubic meter timber can be obtained after eight years uh, from the growing of this pavlonia. So it's really unique pavlonia because in none of uh, modern trees you can get uh, after eight years uh, such a volume of uh, timber. So now the question is, let's discuss first of all how to grow this pavlonia. First question is, I, I'm asked very often, yeah, what about soil? In which soil Paulonia can grow? The answer for this question is Paulonia can grow in any soil. Soil just should have optimal pH and there should be water source continuous and we should be able to fertilize the plant. This is the three major factors Paulonia can grow. Second limitation of Paulonia is the temperature. If temperature is continuously below 25 centigrade minus, yeah, then Paulonia cannot grow because Paulonia cannot resist below minus 27 centigrade. Once Paulonia gets same form like this and wooden, then it is highly resistant to, uh, to the temperature, as I told, uh, below above 27 minus. So Paulonia can grow. So limitation is once more, soil is uh, uh, not an important factor. Important factor is optimal pH. Uh, the fertilization and availability of the water. So any place Paulonia can grow, at least in Uzbekistan, any uh, region Paulonia could grow. We have now uh, Paulonia in Andijan, in Fergana Valley, in Karakal, Pakistan, in Khorezm, in Bukhara, in, in many, many regions of Uzbekistan, Paulonia is growing. And the best growing Paulonia, as I told you, from three Paulonias which we have now checked, compared, so it's the Shantong is by far the best choice for us to make plantations and to make also uh, decorative purposes because it is sterile, it's not making ugly seeds, so it's a beautifully flowering, one month flowering, so and flowers are first and the uh, leaves are second, so Paulonia is full of flowers in April, one month we can enjoy the Paulonia flowers. Yeah, second issue is if we say in any soil Paulonia can grow, so we need water, pH optimal and uh, the temperature is a factor. Then another issue is what kind of technology we should use to get such an optimal, beautiful tree. So technology is also simple. We need to have soil always wet, I'm enabled that root system is working and getting fertilizers is the first factor. Second, very important for Paulonia, first year after technical cut, we need to form Pavlonia. As you see, this Pavlonia is formed because you see no lateral shoots, stems uh, up to seven meter, you know, uh, stem size. Because if we would not form, then it would become bush, not a tree. So very important parameter is to take away the lateral shoots, lateral uh, buds to make it very strongly growing up and Paulonia first year makes a lot of huge leaves and these leaves also should be removed, keeping some uh, five, seven uh, big leaves because these leaves are enough to do photosynthesis and enough to push Paulonia up. Because if you have many, many leaves, then energy of the plant again goes to maintain many leaves and this is not uh, letting plant to grow uh, to do straight. So these are the simple techniques uh, we should take care to get such a beautiful 
tree uh, in our garden or in our plantation. And now uh, many issues are uh, when timber is ready, okay, and how this timber can be used, uh, for what this timber can be used. As you see, this tree is ready to be cut uh, for our, for example, purposes. Which kind of purposes we can have? Here, uh, if we measure, as I told you, we have about two a cubic meter timber here and this wood can be used to uh, make a different kind of furniture it can be used for uh, sauna or for any other for example water resistant equipment uh, musical instruments and etc because Pauline, Pavlone timber has four unique uh, properties features first of all uh, if you put density density and weight Paulonia timber is number one in the world. So combination of density and weight, Paulonia is the lightest and most dense timber. Second future of Paulonia, it is hydrophobic. So Paulonia is resistant to water uptake. And third is Paulonia has the compound tannin. Tannin is uh, giving resistance of Paulonia to any kind of insects, ants and other uh, insects. And these insects cannot uh, treat and cannot eat Paulonia timber. But the most important, unique future of Paulonia, which is really uh, making this tree unique and uh, the future for human furniture and house uh, holding is Paulonia is um, uh, very temperature resistant. Paulonia can be fired at the temperature of 450 centigrade, is double to any other uh, timber. So if uh, sometimes some fire or uh, happens, Paulonia uh, based uh, houses are fired the last. So this is reason why in the countries with high uh, risky seismic uh, zones, like for example in Japan, uh, people are using Paulonia very widely, making from Paulonia everything in the house, from table, chairs, up to the whole house. So for example, Paula, Japan is the first importer of Paulonia, from Paulonia they're making any furniture. But in the future, I'm pretty sure that Paulonia can replace the um, simple, uh, very uh, robust, uh, very uh, profitable furniture industry because it's a putative um, tree, it's not the powder from the tree, and many companies are slowly moving to Paulonia-based furniture because it's uh, light, it is uh, uh, strong, and it is easy to build. Summarizing uh, of our story, I would say that first of all, uh, Pavlonia can grow in majority of uh, countries where soil is uh, okay with the pH optimum, uh, water is available, and temperature is not below 27 centigrade. So Pavlonia can grow. This is the first message. Second message, Pavlonia has great hybrid, which is called Shanton, and Shanton is a uh, choice of Pavlonia, and Shanton is giving, after six years, about one cubic meter, after eight years, as you see here, eight years old Pavlonia, up to two cubic meter, uh, very high quality uh, timber, from which you, one can do many, many things. In the market today, Pavlonia timber is estimated about from $400 dollars to $1,200 dollars uh, per cubic meter uh, timber uh, uh, cost. So it's a very profitable business. I would like to tell you one once more because many people are going to invest in this very nice plant. From one hectare, you can put 600 uh, trees. From 600 trees, if you get minimum one cubic meter and one cubic meter cost $400, then 600 plants is giving you $240,000 profit from one hectare Pavlonia plantation.